Hey guys, it's me. Um, couple of updates. I'm going to be away this week, or for a few days this week. I'm going camping Tuesday night, and I won't be back till Thursday. So, if entry 60.5, which has been confirmed on uh, Jay's Twitter, um, comes out Tuesday night, then you're not going to see anything from me until Thursday. Not that bad, but I'm just saying. Be prepared for a couple days late. Um, depending on how my schedule works out with Chad's, he might return for uh, entry 60.5 reaction, if possible. Otherwise, obviously, I guess I'll have to do it by myself. We'll see. I'll see. Yes. Uh, that's not the main reason why I decided to post this little thing here. It's because I had a nightmare a couple nights ago, and I wanted to share it because it's a neat story. Horrible dream. Horrible dream. Um, I'm going to just put a disclaimer right here saying that I'm not trying to insert myself into Marble Hornets. Uh, I'm not going to try anything like Charlotte has. Charlotte of Charlotte Panics. I'm going to put an annotation to her Entry 60 uh, reaction right uh, about now. Because uh, then you'll see what I mean. This is, it, yeah, it has to do with the operator. But... I'm not by any means trying to be uh, the next Marble Hornets or Everyman Hybrid, mainly because I don't have the time, nor the money, nor the tools to attempt a project of that size. Um, I have little money coming in for my job. I have little time because well, this week I have no time, uh, except for one or two days, which would not be enough at all. And my editing program is Windows Movie Maker, so there. Like, I have no plans to, nor am I going to try to uh, make a Marble Hornets insertation right now. I'm just going to tell you guys a story because it's a, it's, just, it's a story. Because I'm a story, I'm a story kind of guy. Uh, so the nightmare was a couple of days ago, and it's been on my mind sense because it was a weird one. I've never had anything like that before. Uh, it's not your classic operator Marble Hornets kind of dream where you're in a forest running from something chasing you. Not even close. It was, uh, uh, it was day out. It was an afternoon. Warm afternoon. The sky was clear. Bright. Bright sky. Buildings. I was in the middle of the city, and it was a busy street. I was in the middle of the city, and the buildings were all dark, like it was night. Like, take the night sky, like, take the night city, like, take buildings at night, and then replace the sky with, with a bright, like, 3 p.m. cloudless daytime sky. And it's that kind of contrast that my dream took place in. I was waiting for a bus on this very busy street, and I remember being very, very afraid very uh, paranoid of everything because I felt like something was watching me and knew that I, that it it knew that I knew it was watching and I couldn't tell what I just wanted to get away I just wanted to run because it was this, just this overwhelming fear and I guess that's kind of what Jay felt like is feeling like that just overwhelming Mm, something's something's following me. Something's watching me, and that's what this that's what this dream was. Uh, I got on, the bus came, and I got on the bus. The bus was full of people, so I wasn't uh, surprised about that. Now in real life, I fall asleep very easily. Like if I get onto a, a bus or a car, any moving vehicle, and I'm kind of tired, in about ten minutes, I'm going to be out cold. Like, fast asleep. And that's what happened in this dream. I fell asleep on the bus in this dream. But in real life, I can wake up and, uh, you know, get off the bus before my stop, so I'm not, you know, I don't have to walk a long time. But in my dream, when I wake up, I'm nowhere close to where I'm supposed to be. I'm not at the bus stop. I'm not even on the bus. I am standing in the middle of a run-down, abandoned part of the city, and it looks old and run, like, just completely abandoned, neglected. That's the word I'm looking for. 
neglected, and there's no bus stop anywhere. I can't see any, which means somehow I got off the bus and walked blocks to get to where I'm standing, and I have no memory of it. And I realized that, and I realized that, oh, shit, something happened on that bus, and I don't remember. I'm standing what looks like, uh, I'm standing in front of what looks like it used to be a supermarket. I say it used to be a supermarket because there's no signs, there's no windows, all the windows are boarded up, the pavement is cracked with, with plants growing out of it, looks like it's been abandoned for 20 years at least. And something is drawing me towards it, something wants me to go inside, and I don't want to. One of the things that strikes me as very odd is that there's no graffiti on this building. In a run-down, abandoned place, area of the city that I am in, you'd think that there'd be graffiti everywhere. Just free target practice, just run around graffitiing everything, but there's nothing. If anything, the plywood that boards up the windows looks new, and I don't know what to make of it, but I'm still heading towards the supermarket because I feel like I should. I want to turn around and run away, but I can't. For some reason something has me. I get to the doors and they're they're sliding doors. Remember this is a dream, it doesn't make sense. I don't know if sliding automatic doors were there twenty years ago, but they are on this abandoned supermarket. And I I pull I pull it open, pull the doors apart, and they're all but rusted shut, and it's very hard to do it. But I do it anyways. I, I pull the doors open and I step inside. Nothing happens. There's a second set of sliding doors, and I can't see anything beyond the glass. It's stained and dirty from years of dust. I can't see anything past it. I can just see a, a bit of the counters, a bit of the cashier's kiosks, and some shelves, but that's it. And same deal. I pry the doors open, I pull them apart, and I step inside, and it's silent. And. I take a couple steps, and I'm just as about to step into the darkness when the sliding doors slam shut behind me. And I know how much force it took to, to pull those doors apart. So whatever slammed those doors shut was very, very strong. And it slams shut with a huge banging noise that echoes throughout the building. And I turn around, and the operator is standing there, so just two feet away from me. And then I wake up. It was a really weird dream. I've never had anything like it before. And it, it's just been sticking with me for the last couple of days. And I really needed to tell somebody, so I thought, hey, the Marble Hornets community could be a little neat little story to tell. What I think happened was I, I literally scared myself awake. Just because it's the operator, you don't mess with that guy. I feel better now that I've told the story. Uh, like I said, it's just a story. It's just a dream that I had. Did I really have the dream? Yeah. But I don't plan on, on, on doing anything with it. Anyways, uh, sorry I took up so much of your time. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching, geez, what are you doing? Um, I'll probably see you guys on Thursday. If there's anything new on Thursday, then I'll upload it. Otherwise, have a good night, sleep well.